Hi everyone, welcome. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Ganso Firebird FB7651. This is a relatively new model from Ganso in 440C. First of all, I want to say that I paid for this knife with my own funds and that I have no affiliation with any manufacturers or distributors. So my opinions are my own and they're not bought by anyone. So what we're looking at here is an approximately three and one eighth inch, a little over three and one eighth inch blade of 440C. The handle scales are G10. This is the gray model. I'm not sure I really like the color, but it's what I got. And the knife is, the action is operated by basically what's a Benchmade Access Lock clone. It uses these this stud that you pull back with your fingers. Overall, the quality seems uh, excellent for the price. The price was uh, just under $20, not including shipping. Um, the blade is ground pretty well. It's a little bit uneven left to right near the tip, but that's a common issue with a lot of factories. Uh, there's a little bit a flare out at the heel of the blade where it intersects the plunge grind. It's not a big issue though. Um, the handle scales are ergonomic. Uh, the pocket clip works well and is, is nicely shaped. Um, there was There is an issue with this copy of the knife where the G10 scales, the champ chamfer on one side is significantly different than the chamfer on another side. So the flat portion of the top is significantly wider on one side than the other. It's probably difficult for you to see. And it's only on this one side of the knife. I can't even see it in this light. Um, the major issue uh, with this knife is that this uh, deployment bar is really recessed. It's, it's almost recessed in the scales. They don't stick proud of the scales very much. If I pull in an actual authentic Benchmade, you can see a big difference. On the Benchmade here, they stick out way far, and it makes it very easy to grab them. On this, they're almost flush with the scales, and it's kind of hard to pull pull it back to actuate the lock. And also the spring is relatively stiff, which makes it even harder. So I wish Ganzo would extend uh, the studs out a couple millimeters on each side. It would make the knife much easier to use and it wouldn't affect carryability or anything and it wouldn't add anything to the cost. So I don't understand why they don't fix that other than that, it's a pretty nice knife. Um, Lockup seems to be good, left, right, up and down, no problems there. The action is pretty excellent other than the usability issue of it being hard to grab these studs. Okay, that sums it up for the Ganzo FB7651. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye now.